It's five minutes till showtime. It's the exciting new Daredevil Trick Track with the incredible Dolphin Racer, gear-driven for longer battery life. Daredevil Trick Track, full of fantastic tricks. A sensational new steering track. A wall of logs. A teeter-totter. And it's up, 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 and over we go! A somersault flip. And now, straight through a fly-apart house. Get Daredevil Trick Track, action-packed with tricks and tracks. It's thrilling, spilling, crashing, smashing. Daredevil Trick Track from Transogram, where the fun comes from. Wow! It's four minutes till showtime. Hey, Mom. Yes, you. Mm, what a Why hamburger. fuss and fret about dinner? Why not have it right here? Yes, this drive-in offers everyone in the family a real picnic treat for dinner. We've got delicious sandwiches with all the trimmings and your other dinner favorites, plus whatever you want to drink, hot or cold. Come early before the oh, show starts, wow. or eat while you're being entertained, or at intermission time. So why fuss? Give your family a tasty dinner at this drive-in. It's three minutes till showtime. Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. Our barbecue is prepared especially for you. Try our delicious hamburgers. Come and get them at the concession stand. Hot dogs with your favorite trimming for men and boys, girls and women. Dress them up to suit your taste. They're good. So good. It's two minutes till showtime. Hi, kids. Hi, Daniel. Kids, let's all sing the kid song. If you want shoes with lots of pep, get kids, kids, kids. Or bounce and zoom in every step, get kids, kids, kids. You'll be a champion with style. Hit that ball a half a mile. They're tough, they last a long, long while. Kids, kids, kids. There's a pair of smart youngsters. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. Say, why do you kids wear kids? So I can run faster and jump farther. So I can win more often. Right. Always look for the label big and blue. Kids, kids, kids. That spells out U.S. kids for you. Kids, kids, kids. Those shock group arches sure are neat. The right support for growing feet. So be a champion athlete. Kids, kids, kids. Product of United States rubber. It's one minute till showtime. Mm-hmm. Harold, is the coffee all right? Mm-mm. You mean it's as bad as yesterday? Mm-hmm. No improvement at all? Mm-mm. Harold, don't just shake your head. You've got to tell me what's wrong with the coffee. Mm -hmm. Is the coffee all right? Mm-mm. Harold, don't just shake mm -hmm. your head. You've got to tell me what's wrong mm -hmm. with the coffee. Mm-hmm. Harold? Mm-mm. Harold? Mm-mm. Harold? Bad taste. And 
now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once wow. again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Hello. Hello, everybody. Who's ready for some Nancy Drew? Am I a little tiny down here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't see it, but MJ is here for now. She's one with the darkness. Dropped everything to come here. Thank you for being here. Who's ready for some Nancy Drew? Luke had uh, something to do today. He had... Uh, some something I don't I don't exactly know what it was, uh, but we're gonna try and hook up with Luke next week. And I just figured uh, I was gonna start Nancy Drew next, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Glad you're here too, Lupin. Uh, Shade Wheels, thank you for the eleven months. Striped Crusader, thank you for the seven months. Oh, wow. Unlicensed Morgue, thank you for the eight months. Joy Malie, thank you for the thirty months. My brain is sounding Nance alarm. Wee woo woo, it's locked. I wanted to wear my it's locked shirt. I got my uh, my Nancy Drew shirts last time we did uh, fan mail, mm -hmm. but they're in the wash, so I'll I'll have to hopefully wear them uh, maybe on Wednesday. Lupinion, thank you for the 22 months. Nance, on Minecraft Monday, you're throwing off my groove. Yeah, you, I'm just unpredictable. I'm just unpredictable. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't pin me down. Throwing some curveballs. Sort of vintage, thank you for the 39 months. We Nance again. Allison Wonderkin, thank you for the 24 months. Uh, more Nance is the best way to celebrate two years. Eden Envy, thank you for the fu- oh. Money now. Who's that? Eden Envy, thank you for the 41 months. 41 months of A-plus entertainment. Thank you very much, Eden Envy. Who is that? Oh, wow. Koma Rovnia. Thank you for the $20. Can't wait for more Nance. Excited to catch a stream. Have to leave in a moment to run errands, but I will add this VOD to my rotation with the other Nance streams. Thank you so much. Hope the errands go well. Uh, so my plan is I'm going to marathon read all these things because once I get Nancy Drewing I probably will not be reading uh, sub uh, subs until I'm done because I want to get fully immersed I did pre-install treasure in the royal tower just to make sure that it worked so we're good <laughs> we're good there Matos machine thank you for the 26 months Farrick maiden thank you for the 13 months the chubby pirate thank you for the 26 months Sdar, thank you for the 74 months. Hey there. Hello, Ian. Glad to finally catch a stream again. I'm officially working remote at my job now, so I'm looking forward to catching you live more often. Happy to see you. I hope the Drew crew is doing great right now. This is a good time to uh, go grab a snack, grab a drink wow. uh, before we get started, because uh, once we get rolling, I'm assuming the, the story is going to be so gripping, you're not going to want to... Uh, leave your seat. Nam and Jaden, thank you for the eight months. Drew Crew, let's go! Movie Shay, four, five, six, thank you for the 42 months. Hello, Ian. Happy Nance Day. I'm currently have a spa day, so I will be on mute. Have fun. Ooh, spa day sounds fun. Labyrinth, thank you for the 44 months. Lulu One Cake, oh, hey, Chatters, by the way. Do me a huge favor. Make sure my audio sounds good when the game is going. If you can't hear Nancy Drew talking, if I need to bump the audio up, please let me know. Because I want, I, want, uh, I want people to be able to hear. Sometimes the game audio is too quiet. Sam Dub 1. The Sam. The Dub. The 1. Thank you for the 37 months. It's been too long. I hope my Nancy package was some encouragement. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, Sam Dub 1. Uh provided this and most, if not all, other uh, Nancy Drew titles. We're, the one we're playing from is from this uh, 
Triple Threat collection. It came with Final Scene, Treasure in the Royal Tower, and then the next game, which is Secret of the Scarlet Hand. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. Sam Dub won. Uh, thank you for the $15. I couldn't be more happy. And on a day I have off too. I can't wait to see you in the It's Locked shirt. Yes, yes. I'll try and wear that next time. Like I said, I, I was just, it's not, it needs to be washed. I'm just wearing my Nancy Drew shirts everywhere. Uh, so they got to get washed. Yuri Lechlerk, thank you for the 58 months. Woohoo, Nance time for 58 months. Perfect to have on in the background while I play my second run of BG3. So I'm just going to be a lurker today. Trip, Trip Starlake, thank you for the eight months. I know what ducks want. Thank you for the 14 months. Quack. Bounce Good, thank you for the five months. Akasisco, thank you for the eight months. Cup of Tech with the 42 months. Mm-hmm. You better have those snacks. We're, I'm almost done. We're about to get started. We're about to get started. How do you stream your Windows 98 box? I'll have to list the uh, the dongles. It's just a, it's a VGA to HDMI, and that goes into an Elgato. It's very simple, actually. Used to be much more complicated. Karez Tenney, thank you for the five months. Ian is streaming Nancy Drew today, and... I got approved for an apartment. Hope everyone's day is going just as well. Hey, congratulations on that apartment approval. MJ is not excited that I'm talking so much. She's like, I'm trying to sleep. Mm-hmm. Ikasukis, thank you for the three months. Jill the Ripper Twitch, thank you for the 10 months. Cardigan Jezebel, thank you for the 10 months. It's been so long since I've caught a stream. And it's my first ever Nancy stream. What a great Monday. Hope you're doing well. Lots of love. Megan and Dan, thank you so much. 8-Bit Kitty Cat, thank you for the 37 months. LC Wren, thank you for the 44 months. Scoot and Shoot, thank you for the 3 months. Harkwit, thank you for the $2. Am I the only one who licks the barbecue dust off barbecue Pringles before I eat the chip? Yes, surely. So you, you you eat like a soggy Pringle? That's crazy. That's crazy. You shouldn't be doing that, Harkwit. Anyone else have weird snacking habits? No, I have only normal habits. Only the most normal of habits uh, do I have. You lick Dorito dust off the Dorito? Ah! I don't think there's any chip that I lick. I don't think that I lick. I mean, I'll lick like chip dust off my fingers after the chips are gone. Uh, but I, I don't know about licking a chip. I don't know that I've heard that before. Satan Froggy, thank you for the 19 months. Draxy, thank you for the 90 months. Oh, man, you're you're knocking, knocking, knocking on the 100-month door. Uh, Kickstree, thank you for the 16 months. Perfect timing as I'm con crunching right now. Good luck with the con crunch. And call me Sweet Pea, thank you for the eight months. Nance till you shart. Let's go. Okay. All right. Uh, if anyone uh, does it. Oh. Coinage here. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. If anyone comes in and is wondering why I'm not reading uh, subs, uh, please just give them a little uh, heads up that I'll do it at the end of the stream. Ayla Rosebuds, thank you for the $15. My cat Kelpie is screaming at me, and I assume it's because she's part of the Drew crew. Uh, happy Nance Nunday. Hey, just make sure Kelpie doesn't do any spoilers, okay? Oh, All right. Wow. No spoilers from uh, Kelpie, the leader of the Drew crew. Uh, thank you so much. Jasmine879, thank you for the 50 months. And Random Twixie, thank you for the seven months. And here we go. We are now going to start Nancy Drew, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Should be able to hear that. Thanks, Lupin. Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty level to start off. 
If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click the tutorial button first <laughs> for a few tips on how to play the game. Yeah, the text is legible now, right? That's fun. Do I always do junior detective? Is junior detective means I can get hints, right? Ju junior always? I always forget. Yes, junior. Okay. I'm going to pick junior, but let's make a deal here. If anyone new wanders in, uh, you can tell them that I'm doing senior detective. You know, you could make me seem a bit cooler if you so desired. Just lie for me is, is what I'm asking you. Just lie for me. Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter <laughs> Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet the Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell Bess she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. Oh, Jacques. I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. All right. All I need oh. is a mailbox. I gotta mail this letter. Okay, so she's here for, uh... She's here for a vacation, and she's been snowed in. She wants to meet Jacques, the sexy ski professor. I think that's what, what they're called. Ski professor. Oh! Get my notepad out. Okay. Locker... 310 517. Man, my ones look suspiciously like sevens. Yeah, what's bubbling? Wickford Castle, room card key. I'm in room 205. Card key must be returned when you check out. If found, please return to front desk. Did I... What? I already forgot what room number I'm in. Did it say 215? I can't inspect anymore. I'll figure it out. 205. I was close. <laughs> I was close. Okay, so my room is 205. Ooh, Wickford Castle menu, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Baby back ribs with creature of the night barbecue sauce, fried bologna sandwich supreme on white bread. Oh, you can get an extra 50 cents crushed potato chip sprinkles. That's fancy. Anchovy heaven Caesar salad with eternity of garlic croutons. Hot diggity all you can eat fried chicken drumsticks. Ooh, that's what I want. I would get the hot diggity. Something smoking chili cheese dog for $7.50. Uh, better than nutting broccoli surprise. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about the broccoli surprise. I like broccoli, but I don't I don't know that I want it to be a surprise. And their desserts are the white 
cheddar ice cream log. That sounds gross. Chocolate mayhem. Yes, please. Uh, Odyssey to banana land. Uh, key to enlightenment lime pie. Sugar crusted rhubarb jerky royale. I'm sure hope we get to meet whoever made this menu. Someone's it's like a Bob's Burger situation. Uh, someone had fun making the menu. Okay. Oh no, is this is this another one where I'm gonna have to change the clock? Yes. Ugh. It'll be fine. Oh. The radiator is broken. Well, it sounds like the radiator is broken. Who's that? <laughs> Who's the child on the wall? Sassy Detective Magazine. October issue. Poll results. The verdict on what makes a case truly irresistible. I still get Sassy Detective, actually. I get one every month. What's in her bag? Amateur detectives and the sleuthy gadgets they won't leave home without. Fingerprinting 101. Is that SD powdering her nose or working out a keypad access code? You never know. Uh, exclusive Q&A with Canada's hottest new girl sleuth. Uh, Lorna McNamer. Okay, so we're going to have to, like, dust for fingerprints on a key code, probably. That's good to know. Good to know. I don't think I need to read all this. Wow. At least not yet. She even brings Sassy Detective uh, on her vacations. Can't miss an issue. Ah, hello, sir. Oh, I would not like it here. I would not like to stay here. Uh, not my kind of uh, hotel. Okay, I'm, I actually really am glad I wrote down my room number because it looks like there are a significant number of rooms, though I can't look at any of these doors. I want to go around and... I'm gonna go around and just knock on everybody's door. It's locked. Yeah! It's locked. <laughs> okay. Well, it's locked. Maybe I can look at these doors? I just realized that I have to click on the handle specifically. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, how do I get down? How do I get down the stairs? Okay. So I can't go outside at all, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm very uh, snowed in. Ooh, I hear a fire, though. That sounds... Ah! Hi, I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? It was Dexter. It was Dexter. Oh. This is definitely the lady that caused the snowstorm, uh, for sure. Uh, I didn't hear about the library. I didn't hear about the library. Do you know what happened? I haven't the faintest. I mean, who would want to mess with a bunch of dusty old books? Anyway, it's all locked up now. So, maybe we'll never know. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this, but I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. Okay, what was her name? I want to take better notes on the people, because I always forget who's who. Dexter? I don't know who Dexter is yet. I don't think. Lisa. Okay. Lisa. Uh, red shirt. Short hair. Uh, and then we've got uh, Jacques, the ski instructor. 
I don't know how to spell J A Q U E S. Jock is the sexy ski professor. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal I should know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed, for one thing. But the real scandal is downstairs. His name is Jacques Brunet. Professor Hotchkiss. Uh, well, I want to know, what's the scandal with sexy Jacques? What's the scandal with Jacques Brunet? va va voom Scandalous cuteness, of course. Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? <laughs> He's France's big cheese of skiing. He holds the record for the 500-meter slalom, but he totally choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now. Big cheese of skiing. Big cheese of skiing. Uh, washed up? Question mark? I was going to hate. <laughs> help me remember things so much better. I don't know why I don't always do this. Uh, tell me about uh, Hotchkiss. Oh, Hotchkiss. Oh my gosh. Wait till you hear this. Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Okay, so we've kind of met her. We've been past her door. Uh... Wow, did she say what was stolen? Not that I could hear. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. <laughs> Habla Espanol. Uh... Habla Espanol? Hardly. <laughs> I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest, and this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? She's a photojournalist. I, I, I'm suspicious of Lisa. I think Lisa did it. I don't know what the it is in the story yet, but I bet it it is or will be Lisa. I wonder why he was so antisocial. Creepy, right? I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. Are you reading Sassy Detective 2? I don't trust the journalists when there's mysteries about. I'm always like, are you just, are you making a mystery uh, for your newspaper or for Sassy Detective? How many castles <laughs> does Wisconsin have? Well, tons of them, but they're all located next to ski resorts. Major figures and the events of the French Revolution. Oh, fun. Ooh, that's more fun. I hope that this is alluding to a guillotine puzzle. I don't want to learn. I'm going to get through this game and learn as little as possible. Especially about the French. Now, how do I get out of the... How do I get out of the book? Let me out of... <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I want to find Sexy Jacques. See if he lives up to the reputation. Oh. It's too dark. Oh. I should take the elevator. It. Okay. Hotter than Rick Arlen? Well, we're just going to have to see. I'm having a little 
little trouble finding like the moving hot spots. Can I just... I guess I should be careful. I forget that you can just randomly die in these games. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> I gotta be careful. Uh, I need to be careful with this. Uh, I'll just turn them all on for now. <laughs> probably shouldn't be... <laughs> probably shouldn't be just flipping random breakers. Uh, ski rental. Oh, Jacques. Uh... I'm looking for the big cheese of skiing. Oh. Jacques must be gone. I bet I'm going to use that to fingerprint with at some point. Can't go into either restroom hopefully I can hold it for however long I'm here Ooh. okay so I need to get his locker combination is there locker 310 uh 517 Oh my god, I know how to do a... Uh, five... One... I didn't like that. Other way, maybe? Oh, do I have to... Maybe I gotta put it in number by number. Five... No. Five. One. Seven. Come on, dude. Five. One. Oh, oh, it's one of these. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I remember this from a previous one. Okay, I think it wants me to use this five. It might not matter right, left, right, left. I remember this from like a previous. The combination is five, one, seven, but it's not working. I wonder if the lock is broken. Great, great. Feels good to solve my first puzzle. Jacques probably changed the combination. That's my guess. Ugh, it's like the North Pole out there. Okay. I like the setting. The castle's, I mean, it's creepy, but in a good way. I like seeing a uh, Aquaria water machine in here. Elevator. Bing. It's locked. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. Okay. Having trouble facing the places I want to go. I'm assuming if I can't really face it easily, I don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, so Jacques is... Oh, no. I'm going to get lost in here. It's lost. Jacques is not at his post. I wonder if he's at his room. We've exhausted uh, talking to Lisa. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. Oh, 
I wonder if I, now that I know Professor Hotchkiss, Professor Hotkiss, more like it. Sure, she's uh, a good looking granny. Uh, not, not giving up her work just yet. Ooh, that looks, oh, no, I thought that might be a puzzle. Is she deaf? She might be. She might be. We, we don't know for certain. This one goes nowhere. Okay, I'm assuming there's a way to... My current theory is that uh, maybe some part of the castle like rotates and opens up these uh, dead ends. I've hit the wall. Oh. They're all over the place, though. I thought they would all be like on a central stairway or something. Hmm, what is this? Elevator. Sick, okay. So I can access the elevator. Hmm. Is this where I'm at? I'm at two. I wonder if I, did I maybe turn the power, oh wait, hold on. Did I turn the power off accidentally? There's like a little switch down there, but I can't see. You see the, oh yeah. I think the power's off. <laughs> maybe Nancy is too heavy. Uh, well, we haven't seen a picture of her or anything, so it's possible. I did have to go messing with the power. I hope I didn't. It's very possible that I, I turned the power. I thought I turned them all back on. I thought I turned all the breakers on. Okay, I haven't been down here or is this where my room's at? Thought that was a ghost. <laughs> there was a ghost! Okay. It's all right. I'm not going to get scared by Nancy Drew. LaPierre Chateau, the oldest chateau in Lake Pond, Wisconsin. Peppercliff Farms. Free tour of the best cheese in Wisconsin. That's a bold claim. Can you handle the view? Exclamation mark. Wisconsin. Just the view of anything in Wisconsin. Ski Wisconsin. Whis whiskey whiskey Wisconsin. Wickford Castle, 1923, Butter Ridge Ski Resort, Lando Lakes, Wisconsin. I don't know where the hunk is yet. I, I think he might be in his room. Oh, shit. Is this the hunk? Hello, Miss Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? Yes, thanks, Mr. Egan. Mr. My room Egan. Is charming. But I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise, too. Would you mind checking it out for me? 
Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away, and around here it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. And now to make matters worse, there have been a couple of incidents. Dude, you could have just said you're busy. I asked for one thing. Uh... Mm. I hope it's nothing Don't serious. get too nosy. The owner, Christy Lane, is a friend of my father's, and I know how much she loves this castle. Everything's under control. Is there something else, Miss Drew? Okay, I've got Mr. Egan, bald old man, front desk. Kind of a dick. I just need a stamp to send this letter, and then I'll be off to explore the castle. Well, I can take your letter, but the mail's not going anywhere for a while. It's snowing like there's no tomorrow out there. So explore all you want. Take the grand tour. But forget about the library. It's off limits. I'm going to the library, dude. You can't stop me. Off limits? Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The owner, Miss Lane, she's going to be pretty upset. Library. I'm writing it down in, in my notes for this guy. Library. Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. I straightened up in there before check-in yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. I was just about to be like, is someone looking for treasure? But it's the name of the fucking game. Of course someone's looking for treasure. Uh... Let's see here. And yeah, this guy definitely did it, obviously. Um, wow, a hole in the wall? What do you think they were looking for? I can't tell, but somebody's definitely after something. What else has gone wrong? Well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what's she want me to do about it? You got time for that, but you can't fix my radiator? What strange behavior. I'm curious. I wonder if she might open the door to talk to me. Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. Dude, you lost all your feathers, man. You got no feathers left. Yeah, what you fix my radiator, Can bitch? You do something about my radiator? Sorry, not yet. Fine. So, how long have you been working here? A while. <laughs> Okay. Bye. See you, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Have fun saying library. Okay, let's, uh... I should wait until I'm alone. Ooh, it looks like I can hide in that little corner over there. Okay, the ski stuff was down this hallway. Is this the dead end or is this the downstairs? Oh my God, I'm gonna get so lost in this place. How are you guys enjoying being able to read everything? Is everything nice and legible <laughs> fucking finally? Uh, oh my God, I didn't remember there being a left and right here. I can't read, well. I can't help it. Save? Oh, good call. Oh, that is not save. Uh... Good call.
It's locked. Is this the library? It might be the library. Like a saved on Ooh, that's definitely a hidden passageway. Not exactly subtle. I definitely need an It's Locked donation alert. For sure. Uh, is this the way I went? I thought for sure this is... It had to have been this way. Hmm. Or did I, was it a different stairway that I took? Oh, okay. Oh my God. I thought it was too dark. Um, all right. Let me double check what I did in here. These should all be on, right? Yeah. Maybe the elevator's just broken right now. Something clean elevator reset. Mm, what a hamburger. That's probably that probably fixed it. <laughs> uh I think I don't think on is left or right. I think on is in. Like, uh, I think it's right on the left panel and then left on the right panel. Yeah, I think that's right. I don't really know what... This is all about, but I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. Okay, I got to get some boots. I'm looking for... Oh! Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? Uh, what's your excuse? Looks like I'm gonna have to blah 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 blah. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. I'm here on vacation. What's your excuse? Uh, oh, my wow. excuse? Yeah, what brings a professional skier from France to Wisconsin? You've come to Wisconsin for the cheese? Well, this is an awfully long way from the French Alps. Did you come to Wisconsin for the cheese? I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She's an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. He's not even single? Look at that chunky ski bod he's, he's, got, he's got going on. Uh, work of art? What are you talking about? I am speaking of the Queen's Tower, of course. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. Didn't you notice it when you drove in? Yes, I think Christy Lane mentioned it to me once. Christy Lane is my what dad's friend, I think. Uh, Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Until she lost her head in the revolution, that is. <laughs> A pretty girl should not hear about such ugly things. But tell me, uh, how will you spend your time here, Nancy? <laughs> he's hiding the murder weapons under his shirt. It does look like he's got... He's got something under his shirt. I'm dying to have a look inside that library. I heard it was vandalized. Do you know anything? Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. He did it. I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. Okay, Dexter must own the castle. I think that sounds familiar. Hmm. 
Thanks for the tip, but I think Dexter and I are going to get along just fine. Get along just fine, you say? <laughs> ah, a woman who knows her own powers of persuasion. Elle est dangereuse, no? Ciao! Give me the boots. Ah, Nancy. Comment ça va? Ooh, lots of stuff to ask, actually. Um, should ask about the Olympics last because he's washed up. He might get mad if I ask. Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Hmm, Dexter must be confused because I think that is the combination for number 311. I'll try 311. Okay. Uh, give me the boots. How did you bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots? Do you have them? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not the running errands for Dex. Bitch, don't tell me what I should be doing. If I want to run some boots, I'm going to run the boots. Oh. Now tell me about your boxes. Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila! I make these hot boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Sure do. Uh. Lisa told me you were in the Olympics. What was that like? Disappointing, frustrating, humiliating. Yeah, tell me oh, the details. What happened? It was the worst day of my life. To fall flat on my face with my family, my country, and the rest of the world watching. Fell on face at Olympics. I hope there's video of that. I'd love to see that. Okay, thanks for telling me about your traumatic experience. Bye. Ale bye bye. Ale bye bye. Okay, let's try this this other locker. Oh, wow. Okay, 517. What's the significance of telling me the wrong locker? Do I need to get in that other locker? Shutter slug? Is that uh, what this is? It a camera? Okay, yeah. Ooh, that's a cool looking camera. Uh, Helen P. Carp. Who the fuck is Helen P. Carp? Mmm, what a hamburger. Helen P. Carp. Uh. Okay. And Tanya Lee. Tanya Lee P. Gooding. Hmm. Okay. Is it the same person? Can I look at the other one again? Sure looks like... Yeah, that's the same person. Is this... Is this, uh... Is this Lisa the photojournalist? It is a camera. She's got short hair. I'm going to go Jacques uh, on my way to a uh, boots delivery. We'll, we'll just take a little, uh, give her a little chat. But first, I wonder if I can get, it's not, it's still not my locker. Like, I want my locker. Ah, uh, Nancy, como se va? Oh. I'll talk to you later. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Okay.
does not take Nancy long to start snooping on her vacation. I have a hard time seeing her as like a a skier. I don't know. For some reason, Nancy Drew just doesn't really strike me as someone who skis. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. Okay. Okay, I understand that stairwell now. <laughs> I didn't at first, but I think I will be able to operate the stairs. Oop. She's running from the truth. Snuck in. I didn't sneak into anybody's locker. I was told to use that locker. And I just wasn't sure. I mean, I thought maybe it was a gift. The camera might have just been a gift from somebody. So I had to, you know, I had to look at it. I got your boots. Mrs. Uh, Hotchkiss, Professor Hotkiss. Yes, hello. Is that Jacques with my boots? Uh, yeah, Actually, go with the boots. It's Nancy Drew, but I do have your boots for you. Oh, good. Oh. Boots, fine. Uh, thank you, thank you. Everything is fine. Uh, just leave the boots at the door, please. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, and it seems I'm out of change. I'll just have to tip you the next time, Mandy. Well, I like her. Okay, Nancy, ask you questions. Okay, I, I feel like saying I want to ask you a couple questions is a very aggressive uh, opening. No tip is necessary, Professor Hodgkiss. I don't actually work here. My name's Nancy Drew. I heard your room was robbed, and I'd like to find out what was taken so that Mr. Egan can report it. Everything's under control, dear. Nothing to report. Thank you for my boots. My poor feet have been feeling so exposed. Well, we don't want that. We wouldn't want an exposed foot. Oh. Ah. All right, well, that was not super helpful. Let's see if I can find... The fuck was that? Someone's in the walls. Someone's in the walls. Can I not go down this hallway? Okay, I can go down this hallway. Very confusing navigation. Hmm. Okay, I need to find Lisa's room now. Because I have, uh... I have some things I want to talk to her about. I wish I could knock on the wall. Was that the old man? Did the old man just die? You okay? Hodgkiss get her boots. Oh, oh, I gotta leave the boots by Not the door. Yet, Mr. Egan. Hmm. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Thought I'd gotten rid of the boots. Who's coughing at me? Okay, this way, maybe? Did I go the wrong way? This 
place is a fucking maze. What is this? Okay, that's my room. Might as well see if anything has changed in here. Someone could be... Oh, it's my radiator. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is that noise? It sounds like beyond broken. It sounds kind of dangerous. Uh. I'm not getting pizza. I'm getting the fried chicken explosion or whatever it was called. Mountain of Fried Chicken. So the operator is a no-go. The Wickford Castle Vacation Resort. Ooh, this is very tiny. Uh, welcome to Wickford Castle. In 1920, Ezra Wickford, the inventor of chocolate milk, that's cool, dreamed of building a castle like no other. The project took seven years, 132 carpenters, uh, and millions of dollars. 132 carpenters? It's like all stone. Uh, but by the time it was done, Wickford Castle had become an architectural marvel. Then, in 1945, Wickford mysteriously locked himself away in the castle and allowed the place to fall into a state of decline. After Wickford's death, the castle was closed down for many years, its fate unknown, till it was finally inherited and reopened by his great niece, Christy Lane, in 1990. Now it is one of the most popular vacation resorts in the Midwest. The castle is a maze of corridors, and some of them lead nowhere. No one knows why Ezra included these dead ends in his castle design, but everyone agrees he must have had quite an imagination. <laughs> uh, learn the story of the 18th century French tower. During his travels in France, Wickford became so enchanted with the Chateau Rochamont that he bought the castle's grand tower and had it built onto this castle in 1924. They probably moved it over brick by brick. Few people have ever seen the inside of the tower because Mr. Wickford kept it sealed off. The tower is still closed, but in the coming months, Christy Lane plans to open it up to guests and offer guided tours. Uh, Miss Lane also plans to restore the vintage 1920s elevator to its original condition. Okay, so the elevator might not even work. Miss Lane is grateful to the Wisconsin Historical Foundation for their support in this project. Uh, visit the library. Also, while in France, Wickford acquired the majestic library and many of its contents from the estate of Jean Labouf. The room is filled with antique books, both French and English. It's worth a visit just to see Marcel Bonnet's famous portrait of Mary Antoinette, which was imported from the Chateau Rochamont. Right, library, sorry. Visit the library. Outdoor attractions were located just at the foot of scenic Butter Ridge. In the winter months, guests enjoy skiing on some of the best groomed slopes in the Midwest. In the warmer months, guests love the hike to Butter Lovers Lake. Uh, well, that's the lake I want to go to. I love butter. Uh, the mountain fields are covered with the region's magnificent wildflowers. Look for ladies' slippers, skunk cabbage, black-eyed Susans, butterfly weed, devil's paintbrush, toad flax, and more. Are those sativas? Uh, no matter how you spend your time at Wickford Castle, you're bound to have an adventure. Okay, I wanted to look at this picture here, but I guess cannot do that. All real plants? I believe it. I believe it. I love her luggage. Okay, I already did 
get that. Okay. I don't think there's anything else new in here. Oh, what up, Scarf? This is one of your favorites? I did notice that this uh, this was a very successful and seemed to be a highly regarded entry in the Nancy Drew franchise, the Nanchise, uh, as we, we call it. Or I refer to it as such uh, multiple times. What's with the coughing dude? Okay, and I don't know where... Where did Lisa go? Okay, give... Let's give to Boots. Mm -hmm. No, I just want to give to Boots. Give to Boots. Okay, now let's go talk to... Oh! Oh! Oh, that was quick. I can relate to that. That's uh, that's how I pick up my Amazon packages. Don't wanna, don't wanna make an appearance. I just want my shit. Oh, Lisa. Yeah, navigation is a little weird, but I feel like that's that's not too uh, unheard of for a Nancy Drew game. I feel like I. It's just kind of easy to get lost. It's easy to get lost when you jump forward sometimes. Sometimes the turns don't read correctly to me. <laughs> Never want to be perceived at all. It's true. I wear a cloak when I uh, go outside to pick up my Amazon packages. Oh, let's snoop, 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 snoop. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to look at the... There we go. Pin Pals Paper Products. Uh, this is Dexter's Steno book. To-do list. Shut down sky lift. Check emergency generator. Get uh, Bernays to fix prof boots. Check. A uh, refund guess who canceled. Snow plows? Try to reach Christy again. Who's Christy? Do I know a Christy yet? Oh, yes. Christy Lane. Who is the current owner of the castle now, I guess? I think that's right. Mm, what a hamburger. Then who is Dexter? Uh, change library alarm code. Change bulbs and tower. Replace filter in vent shaft. Keep searching. Yeah, he's looking for the treasure. Get boots back to prof. Check basement circuit breaker. Get dinner orders from guests. Okay, so he's going to take my dinner order. Excited for that. I'll just take this. No one's going to miss. <laughs> no one's going to miss that. Okay. Thief, it was just there. It was just sitting there in a drawer. You can't expect me not to go through every drawer. Uh, I'm going to do a quick save. How does that sound? Uh, I should be naming these. Got key from front desk. I mean, how is he going to know? You know? It's like he's going to be like, oh, my key. Where'd my key go? I'll be like, I don't know. I, uh, oh. Was it me? Okay, I don't think I can go to this. I can't even go to that door. It's just to get... Just to get back there. Where... Where the fuck did Lisa go? I 
think any of these are rooms I can look at. It's locked. Not any. Oh. 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 Okay. Well, I have an idea of what to do with that. Why don't we go mess around with a circuit breaker a little bit, huh? That could be fun. That should be fine, right? That's not gonna. <laughs> it might just turn off. Uh, no, I don't think anyone's gonna notice that. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, so that didn't work. Should probably go turn all that back on. <laughs> Seemed like it should have worked, but, uh, you know, there's got to be another way. This song kind of reminds me of a Mist song, these violins. It's going to have your power back. Blue Moon Canyon is an excellent one. What number is that? Cello or violin? I'm not sure. It's, uh, it's definitely electronic, whatever it is. Lucky number 13. We'll get there. <laughs> get there slowly but surely. We'll get there. Jacques must be gone. Well, where the fart is everybody? <laughs> hmm, I don't think I know anything about him. Dexter. Did I miss any information about Dexter? I mean, if you know who he is because you've played this before, don't tell me, but were we told w what Dexter's deal is and I just forgot? He's the caretaker? Oh! Dexter Egan? Is Mr. Egan and Dexter, is that the same? Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you. Gotcha. Mystery solved. All right. Well, uh, game over. No, I want to go... Is this not where? Oh my god, I'm already lost. This way. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. Elevator does not work. I don't think. Hello? Okay, well, I don't know where anybody is to speak with them. Can't get into the library without setting an alarm off. I mean, I could just 
What if I went into the library and then just like close the door behind me? Do you think that would be okay? I'll save before I do it. Sounds like the alarm goes off when the door shuts. Library, sorry, library. Library, I gotta go to the library. Yeah, I'm gonna save here. Okay. It's locked. Didn't work. Well, ah! <laughs> look who returned to the scene of the crime. You're out of here. Didn't you hear Dexter coming? Yeah, I didn't know what to do. I guess I just froze. It's not like you, Nancy. You always know how to make an emergency exit. Maybe you really do need some rest. Who can think of rest and relaxation when there's a mystery to solve? Okay. Could I, like, hide? I'm going back in. Well, well, well. No. Look who returned to no. the scene of the crime. I need the You're code. Here. Didn't you hear Dexter coming? Yeah, but I didn't know what to do. I guess I just froze. I probably should like fingerprint you, the buttons. You Please don't uh, suggest things, exit. though. Maybe you really do need some rest. Who can think of rest and relaxation when there's a mystery to solve? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, load... I don't have, uh, I would assume I would need some type of powder. Yeah, mod spoilers. I would assume I would need, like, a powder or something. I guess I could read the, uh... No, this is not... Not working hello well yeah. well look who returned to the scene of the i need to go read my sassy detective Didn't you sassy detective has all the uh I didn't know what information do. i need i guess i just froze it's not like you nancy you always know how to make an emergency exit. <laughs> maybe you really do need some rest who can think of rest and relaxation the bad mod it's not a big deal not a big deal Uh, let's go read some Sassy Detective. See what uh, they've got to say about... Fingerprinting. I must need... I think I could, like, find some makeup or something to, to dust with. I really haven't even been. I've been trying to not look too much at chat anyway, so it's really not a big deal. It's it's so easy to accidentally say something. Also, I've just I'm not gonna freak out like I used to because I just don't want to just don't want to do that anymore. No big deal. Uh, where's my room? I'm looking. I'm glancing. It's just when I'm thinking, I I I'm trying not to look. Where'd my room go? Hmm. Oh, shit, it's working. Kind of? Am I stuck in here? <laughs> it's stuck. Uh, 
Can you get soft lock? How did it randomly work? I don't want to reload. I wanted to die in here first. I want it to be like, a, oh no, I suffocated. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. Four passengers. Take me back. Why did it randomly work on one? What did I do differently? I was just I was just pushing a bunch of buttons. Oh! Away I go. I'm not sure if I can make it. Uh, let's <laughs> do a quick little save. Um, on the elevator. Okay, here goes. Ah! <laughs> Dude, you made it. You clearly made it. I'm not sure if I can make it. Use your hands to like grab the, you know. This is helpful. Oh. Oh, you. Okay, I still think she should have been able to make that. So it's is this... Locked. No, now it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Hmm. I wonder if I can report that to... Uh... Oops. No. Oh, he was just at my room. Where did it go? I was just there. Oh my god, where the fuck did it go? Oh my god. Uh, there's no doors over here. I just want to read Sassy Detective. It's all I want. Is it over here? 204? It's right here. 205... 204. Very difficult to get to. There we go. Okay, let's see what Sassy Detective says. When we touch things, some of the oil from our skin is left behind on the surface of the thing we have touched. Our fingertips have a unique pattern on them, and the oil shows, or prints, this pattern. This is how we get the term fingerprint. When you touch several surfaces with the same fingertip, the oil begins to get used up, so the fingerprint becomes lighter and lighter. The most common method of discovering fingerprints is called dusting. When you brush a light powder over... Yeah, okay, so I need a light powder. Over a surface, the powder or dust will cling to the oil left by fingertips, revealing the fingerprints. Remember, fingerprints will appear in darker or lighter shades depending on how much oil is present. Now, sassy detectives, put two and two together to figure out how to determine a keypad access code. Here's a little test. If you saw the four... Okay, yeah. Okay, so I need some type of powder... Uh, which again, I kind of thought a, a makeup makeup powder would be the the go to here, but I can't. It doesn't seem like I can interact with that three D rendered uh, makeup. You'd think Nancy Drew would just carry around fingerprinting materials. Uh, everywhere. 
Oh, right. I can change the time. I don't want to change the time yet, but I need to remember... I need to remember that I can do it. Because I feel like I'm going to have to do it. Okay, let's go... See if we can talk to Dexter Egan about this elevator situation. If I can, yeah. Wasn't there a Nancy playthrough where I made Nancy sleep for 28 hours? I don't know, maybe? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I vaguely remember Blackmore, but you did. I do remember having to sleep in that one. Remember creepy shit happening during the night uh, at Blackmore? Okay, so now I can get in here. I can't. Did it move? Did it move from the last place it was at? I'm not at a... Uh... Must have. I'm not at a dead end when I get in there, so. I still don't know how I got the elevator to work in the first place. Hmm. I still don't. I also don't know where the fuck Lisa went. I wish there was a way to see, like, what her room number was. A guest list of some sort. See ya, Chaka! Thanks for hanging out! <laughs> really not a big deal, Chaka. I was just giving you a hard time. is an interesting idea. Maybe they are sleeping. Don't tell me that, but it's a good idea. Okay, let's try a let's try a time jump. Well, I'm going to try the only person making any type of noise at all. Thank you. I did not realize I could check the time. I honestly don't like when the time matters. Uh, I find it hard to keep up with. This... Okay. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Get me out of here. 214. I think my room is this way. Maybe... Let's go. When do people get up? I didn't get a, uh, I didn't get a meal order. Time. Oh. Time. Can I not, ch <laughs> can I not change it? Cancel. Time. I just go to bed. Alarm. Okay. Alarm set for what? Eight? Interesting. 
interesting perspective here. Okay, let's do a quick save. Day two. Listen, I'm relearning all this Nancy Drew uh, gameplay, all right? Doing my best over here. Well, maybe not my best. I'm doing like four-fifths my best. Oh my god, how do I leave? <laughs> like... It has been a while since we danced. I didn't realize that the last time we played was when I was using my uh, retro setup, which I do kind of miss. But it was, it was quite cumbersome. Can I help you? About my radiator, Mr. Egan. Do you think you'll be able to fix it anytime soon? Sorry, not yet. Hot That's insane. That she got her boots. But now I'm told that the light is out in the back stairwell. Could you check the circuit breaker in the basement? And make sure it's working. If you fix my fucking radiator, dude. I had to I had to sleep in the ice cold last night. Some vacation this is turning into. I was in the elevator and it got stuck between floors. I had to climb out the top and I just barely made it up to the floor above. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're okay, but don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. It's dangerous in there. If you fix the fucking elevator, I won't have to climb around in it. Yeah, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. So are we both going to the... the circuit breaker then? This guy needs to fix some shit up and not be looking for treasures. Uh, I don't know what these arrows are supposed to mean. Number two. They're all on. No ski rental is, uh, back stairwell. Which stairwell is the back stairwell? <laughs> is it this one? Is this the one I just used? This is the one I just used. Uh... Did you figure out the problem with the circuit breaker? Hmm, I guess I haven't gotten around to it yet. Hmm, <laughs> that's a shame. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. I, you... Bye. Okay, okay, circuit breaker. Circuit breaker. Maybe that is something I can do right now? God, it's so hard to look at the doors I want to look at. You have to click on the doors before you're next to them. Nope. Okay, I guess I'm going to go fuck with the circuit breaker some more. I don't have a book about circuit breakers. I can't get into the library because I don't have anything to dust for fingerprints with yet. I don't think. Oop. So 
Sassy Electrician. I did not bring my copies of Sassy Electrician, no. It would have been very helpful, though. Okay, I'm assuming this that's the stairwell that, that is the problem. Uh, Harold thinks so, too. Number two... Number three. Again, what if I just flip all these off? Just go check the stairwell. See, uh. Mm, what a hammer. Oh, did that actually work? Or is this. Yeah, this that actually worked. Maybe? It worked. Okay. Well, what did I sh turn off, though? I, fl I flipped so many switches. Um... Turn them back on. The lights. Uh, I could brute force it. I'm just going to leave it until I find out if that did anything bad. Because if it didn't do anything bad, then it's probably fine. Ah, Nancy. Como se va? Do you know much about the tower that's closed off? I heard the original owner imported it from France. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. And Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Until she lost her head in the revolution, that is. I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Great convo. Uh, he definitely did it. Whatever it is. Oh, wrong hallway. Oh my god. <laughs> this place is massive. Okay. Okay, I better get my fucking radiator fixed now. Yes. I don't want to pester you, Mr. Egan, but <clears throat> the radiator. Thanks for dealing with the circuit breaker. Okay, we're really making progress here, kid. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. Fix the fucking radiator, dude. No problem, boss. I hope we get to lock this guy up. I hope he's the the criminal or the whatever. I need to order something. When I make my order, I need to order something uh, that I can use to dust for fingerprints with. Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions. Who is it? Hi, Professor. I thought you might be getting hungry in there. Could I relay a dinner order for you? Oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. Globules. But tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. What did you just call me? <laughs> okay. Well, I like Miss Hot Kiss. Uh, best character so far. Was Couscous one of the options? I don't think that was on the menu. Turn around. 
Yes? The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something oh, off the menu. Wow. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. What are you doing? He's probably looking for his key, actually. He's probably searching the desk like crazy uh, for the library key. Ooh. Is that my couscous already? Hmm. Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta. Did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny stuff. I'm going to aggressively slip it under here. Uh, oh, baby back ribs. Yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. Uh, 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 fried bologna sandwich. Uh, mm. I'm not usually much of a meat eater, but... Uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck. Sure. Fifty drumsticks. Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. <laughs> Rock and roll. Uh, well, she got the order. She ordered what I wanted, so uh, another point for her. I'm sad that I don't have the menu anymore because now it seems like I probably won't get to order, which I was kind of looking forward to doing. Can I help you? The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then, drumsticks we got. Oops, but I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's as good as fixed. Is it as good? Is it fixed, though? Is it fixed? That I don't like how you phrased okay. that. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. I want it to be fixed. As good as fixed seems a little noncommittal. Oh, hey, Jacques. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, Tanya Lee P. Gooding. So tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. There was a little mix-up with the lockers, and I accidentally opened yours. Yeah, and? Are you just gonna blab it? Uh... I guess I'm just going to blab it. Uh, maybe I won't blab it. It just doesn't seem like something I should just say. Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. Okay, I've lost, I've lost the uh, ability to blab it, so I hope that was the right choice. I'm dying to find a way into that tower. Where do they usually hide the secret entrances in weird old Midwestern mansions? <laughs> I guess I should know, shouldn't I? Too bad most of the places I've covered aren't any weirder than imitation butter. I wish you'd hurry up and find it, though, so we can check it out. We. Oui. I do love making Nancy blab, but I own, there's so few characters so far, I don't want to make her mad, and then there's one less person to talk I'll to. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. Oh. 
Okay, okay. Let's see what Jacques is up to. He needs to be making some chicken wings. Como se va? Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh, la la la, what does he think I am? A sous chef? Well, I'll talk to you later. Ciao! Is this where the drumsticks are kept? Are they kept down here by the, uh, the ski boots? Why don't we do a save? Why don't we do a quick save? Uh, I'll just save over day two. Day two's going pretty well. How's it going, Drew Crew? I almost fell over. Drew in. Chill. Have we figured out what the mystery is yet? I mean, I know there's like secret passageways and someone ransacked the library, but that doesn't really seem like a, you know, the biggest deal. I guess I'm just trying to find that treasure. Oops. Yeah, the library thing. Gotta get that treasure, I guess. Uh, where was I going? Uh, is my radiator fix yet? <laughs> Maybe I should have blabbed it. Can I borrow there, some like makeup or something? To your magazine. Keep me posted. Did you see I fix your radiator? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. <sighs> Bye, kiddo. Not even a thank you. I did not see that, but I am going to go in there to see if he snooped in my room or anything. What are the odds that he snooped around? If I can actually find my room. Oil can. Can I use that to fingerprint? Can you fingerprint with oil? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Slurp. I don't think anything. I'm trying to remember of anything. Oh, wait. The only thing that's been stuck so far that I can think of is the elevator door, but I don't know that unsticking it in that situation would, would really help. Hmm. Use it to set up a Home Alone style trap. That's not a bad idea. What am I going to use an oil can for? I mean, I could try to use it to fingerprint. I just don't think that that's a thing. Ooh, hot chocolate does sound good. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, Shit wow. don't work. Is that you, Brandy? Oh, I'm glad you're here. At the moment, my theory is rising like a magnificent souffle. I need to collect a few more ingredients, if you will, but it's a delicate situation. If I leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. What do you need me for, Professor? What I need is some information about the castle. Hard numbers. 
I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and faithful soul. Therefore, I have decided to entrust you with this important mission. Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Pass. Um... Well, Professor Hodgkiss, I'm not actually in the hotel business, but I'd love to help. Marvelous! Here's what I need to know. How old was Marie Antoinette when she married King Louis? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with, but please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. Okay, I think, I think I know where to find that answer. I think that was in, we definitely found a book about her in the fireplace room, I think. Go check there first. No, not in the library. I think I found it here. Uh. No. Oh, this is book two. I think it was in book one. Maggie threw up and your nails are wet with throw up? That's gross. <laughs> uh blah 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 blah. Seventeen seventy. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Right? Oh, how old was she? It wasn't the year. So she was fif 15 because of math. She was a thousand seven hundred and seventy years old. Yeah. Yeah, fifteen. Carry the one. <laughs> Just making sure I Okay, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with fifteen and just see if she likes it. Just doesn't seem like a good idea to get married at 15, but you know. What do I know? I've never tried it, so. <laughs> yes! Did you find the information I asked you for? Sure did. Good, but I need you to write it down so I don't forget. Okay. Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. Ah. Eureka! If there's one thing I like in a young person, it's ingenuity. Now, I've got work to do. Time to stir the cauldron and stoke the fire. But if you'd like to talk, I'll be holding office hours in the lobby between 3 and 6 a.m. Meet me then. Oh. 3 and 6 a.m. 3, 6 a.m. in lobby. That's a... It's an interesting time. Okay, save. She doesn't sleep, she only writes. MJ is still in here, by the way. She's just, uh... She's 
Just been snoozing. Okay, okay. So that's done. I still don't know what I'm going to use the oil can for. I mean, I could try to use it to fingerprint, but I'm almost positive. <laughs> I'm almost positive that that's not uh, what I'm going to use it for. Has MJ thrown up ever? Yes. Today? No. Can I help you? Okay. See you, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Hi there. How's it going? I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me okay. posted. If, uh, if, if Jock doesn't have anything new for me, I guess I'll just skip to 3 a.m. and see what's going down there. Seems like a good uh, lead. Jacques must be gone. Is it 1 a.m.? Is it 1 p.m.? Okay, can I get to my room here on the first try? Yes, it's right here. Can birds throw up? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that question. Let's all go to the lobby. Mm, what a hamburger. Nancy, dear, welcome to the witching hour. Isn't it marvelous to be up and about when others are sound asleep? I find my brain waves are at their most powerful during this time. <laughs> powerful brain waves. Uh Yes, I happen to do some of my best work in the middle of the night too. So, tell me, professor, what is this theory you're working on? Well, you probably know by now that I'm a scholar of French history. <laughs> my specialty is Marie Antoinette. Oh, poor Marie. The most misunderstood queen of the 18th century, Marie used to visit the very tower that now belongs to this castle. I'm convinced that this place holds evidence that will forever change the way the world views Marie. But the walls have ears, so I'd rather not say any more right now. Oh, if you're really interested, why don't you go up to my room and have a look around yourself? You've been such a great help to me, almost like an apprentice. <laughs> oh. I've always wanted an apprentice. So she's an expert, but she doesn't know when she got married. Um. Wow, Professor, that's really generous of you. I'd love to learn more about your work, but are you sure you don't mind? I insist. Your mind is like a ravenous monkey gobbling up every banana in its path. Oh, how can I stand in the way? Here's my extra pass key. I get back to work at 6 a.m. sharp, so just make sure you vacate the premises by 5.59 and put things back where you find them. It's all scientifically organized in there. Okay, so am I going to have to... Uh, might have to do the fingerprinting and, like, return. If, if I get her makeup, I got to do the fingerprinting then come back and, and put it back so she doesn't notice it missing. I think that's my current theory. What did you mean when you said Marie Antoinette was misunderstood? Everyone thought Marie did nothing but spend France's money on jewels and fancy soap for herself while her people were starving. History books have upheld the myth that she was just a spoiled and heartless brat, but I don't believe it. Why not? 
I believe that she's been the victim of vicious rumors and lazy historians for too long, and that if the real story could be told, people would realize that Marie Antoinette was actually a good woman who wanted to help her people but didn't know how. Okay, bye. Soon. Right ho! Right ho! All right, let's go snoop. Well, I guess it's not snooping if we have permission. Uh, just go rifle through her belongings. Uh, <laughs> she did eat the chicken. Ugh, born November 2, a Scorpio like me. What a coincidence. No wonder she has, she was so passionate. Oh my God. Austrian birth name, Maria Antonia? Married off at 15 and she had to change her name too. She must have been frightened. Her favorite color was purple, like me. I wonder if she... Oh, wow. Ordered adored chicken drumsticks. Despite the elaborate hairstyles that were the fashion of the day, Marie preferred to wear her hair loose, unpowdered, and natural. Note, evidence that she was unpretentious. There is no concrete evidence that she was the one who coldly declared, let them eat cake, in response to the... News that her people were starving. Marie was immature, but not cruel. This handwriting is, uh... Jeez. Okay, what else you got for me? Boots. Ooh. Hey, it's a battery, it looks Testing. like. Testing. Can anyone hear me? Oh, 3D. Hot kiss to Earth. Come in, Earth. Oh, okay. I think I think we're rolling. <clears throat> now, let's get a look at these hallways. So rich in detail. You'd never know this place was built in 1920. It's all so 18th C. <sighs> oh, and there's Marie. I feel so close to her, just being here. It's as if her spirit is in the sweet as the smell of fried chicken. <gasps> Battery dead. I've got a little more time. Can charge that for a bit. Now, is there any... Is there anything I can use for fingerprinting? I want to fingerprint. Uh, Dr. Beatrice Hotkiss from... Baroness Helga von Hasseld Hanseldorf. Dearest Bay, marvelous to receive news of your progress. I'm sure you are onto something important with the medallion and the stained glass window, but I think the significance of the medallion must go beyond the message you've seen. I've looked through my family letters, and it seems that when Marie Antoinette gave her niece Helga I, my great 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 uh, great great aunt, the medallion, she told Helga to keep it safe as it was part of a great truth and that she hoped uh, that she hoped would someday help to heal the wounds of France. Helga urged her to explain this great truth, but this was all that Marie would divulge. The truth can seem hard and ugly at first, but eventually its hardness becomes a thing of eternal beauty. Bay, you must find out the meaning of this. Keep up the good work, old friend. I know you'll be successful. So medallion and the stained glass windows are a clue of sorts. 
Uh, let's see if the battery charged. How fast is battery charging? I don't see anything that I can take to use for fingerprinting, unfortunately. Is that enough? Is missing here. It's gotta be enough. It's probably gonna turn green when it's ready. Um Oh my god, there's more there's more chicken over here. That's kind of a bummer. She has a trash can, I just can't check it out. Ah! Huh. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. How long is this going to take to charge? Um, okay. I only have an hour left in here before she comes back and uh, scolds me, I'm assuming. chicken bones in the couch. It's making me want fried chicken. Hmm, hmm, hmm. might have to come in, in here a different day and like immediately charge the I mean I could go ask her about it the thing is I don't want to leave it because she, she was very specific about putting everything back the way it was so maybe I should put the battery back in the camcorder and go talk to her again What's the silver gray thing? Which, uh... This is a cap to a thing. This is like an eyelash curler. Something's missing here. Is it... The circle? This here? This is the uh, the lens cap, I'm assuming, for the camera. I can't interact with it, though. Okay, I'm going to put this back. Yeah, no dice. And go talk to her one last time before she retires back in here. I think Nancy does wear makeup. She's got what looks like makeup on her counter, but I can't uh, interact with it. Hello, my fellow night owl. Or perhaps I should say hoot hoot. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, did you find anything of interest in my room? Hoot hoot. I did pop in there, though interesting doesn't begin to describe the place. 
would you mind if I went back another time? Of course not. Pop in all you like, just not when I'm working. See you soon. Goodbye. Okay, we'll have to check back here tomorrow for sure. Um, for now, though, let us, let us go to bed. And, uh... Wake up at a reasonable time. So he's not actually actively using the list, it looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to go... I'm going to skip to, like, 8 a.m. just to see uh, if anybody has anything new for me. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. I wish I had another coffee. Maybe I'll make a G Fuel. Is anyone drinking a coffee or a G Fuel right now? Any, uh... Anybody caffe caffe caffeinating themselves? You got iced coffee? Yeah, make me jealous for your caffeine so I'll, I'll go do it. Don't enable him. Enable me. Enable my addictions. Ooh, ginger ale sounds good. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not. Or maybe I will. It wouldn't take long. It's, it's so fast to make one. Can I help you? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. I need Bye. something to fingerprint your keypad with. Is there anything you could point, point me to? Ooh, a Dr. Pepper. I had a Dr. Pepper for the first time in a while recently. I think I ordered it with... Oh, no, I had it when I went to Panda Express. I got a Dr. Pepper. It was pretty good. Not something I partake in very much anymore. Shiny Splash? Oh, that's the one I have. Is that the Blueberry Lemonade? Oh. I don't think that one's open right now. I, I think I'm drinking the raspberry lemonade one, but uh, maybe if I just drink enough water, it'll it'll I can pretend it's caffeine. I could open it, but it's you know. It's sealed. How am I supposed to? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Miss anything mandatory. Uh, Joy, did you see us go through uh, Professor Hotkiss's room? That was the... Uh, was the last thing we did. With permission, of course. The radiator did get fixed now, which really hasn't changed anything. I thought it might, but...
Hold on one moment. I'm getting messages. Oh. Someone's asking me if I'm going to be at TwitchCon. Mm, what a hamburger. What do people do at TwitchCon? What is it? I don't even know. <laughs> really, no. No, I don't think that I will be, no. I don't even know when it is. Do, yeah, do they all... Uh, does everybody stream at TwitchCon? Networking? I should do that. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I probably should. Uh, let's see here. Okay, well, I kind of want to go back and try and charge that battery. I don't really have any other leads at the moment. I don't know where, uh, what's her face went? I don't know where Lisa went. She's not, she's not, not at her chair. That's true. I did. I did. I guess I didn't. Don't think as uh, speaking with Scarfulu as networking because we're like, you know, friends. <laughs> guess you can network with friends. Okay. Let's see if we can't charge that battery and see whatever she was uh, freaking out about in the tape. It was three, right? Three to six. Okay, her room is... Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Her room is over here. All right, let's. Put that on the charger and let's go chat with her briefly. See if she's got anything new. It's a new day. It's going to take a while for that thing to charge. It's all about Neopets now. It's what makes the world go round. Yes, dear. See you soon. Nothing. Goodbye. Nothing. Um, okay, the only other... I'm going to wait for this battery to charge. The only other thing I can think of is trying to use the oil to fingerprint, which I really, really have doubts that that is going to work. But I also don't know what else... I don't know what I would use the oil can for. Maybe there's Maybe there's dust in there. The elevator's still broken. Um probably because what's his face said that uh, it wasn't broken. So Yeah, probably. Can I put the oil can <laughs> Dude, how long is this thing supposed to charge for? Something's missing here. Hmm. This is quite a time investment. Let's go fuck around with the elevator while we're waiting.
some more banging and clanging. I'm very, I'm very intrigued to know how the secret passageways are going to open up. Uh... Okay, elevator is... Where the fuck... <laughs> where the fuck is the elevator? Over here? Yeah. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Uh, these games never have any jump scares? I don't know. I, uh... I, I jumped... <laughs> I jumped earlier. I don't know that it was a jump scare. Uh, but I did jump because I was scared. So they do. Did I get jump scared in one of the previous ones? Trying to remember any other uh, Nancy jump scares I've had. Yeah, is it? I wonder if it'd work if I went and I turned all the power. Uh, if I fucked with the power panel again. Because I don't know that I really need the light in the, the staircase. It doesn't really seem that important. See what that does. It's too dark. I should take the it's too, it's too dark. 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 Let me out. The elevator. Okay. I still got time. It's too dark. No. I don't think that I don't understand how the elevator works. It worked the one time. And then never again. Welcome, tool man. Happy you found the stream. Okay, okay. So it's definitely one of these. Not that one. I'm just going to brute force it. I don't know if there's a diagram or anything, but it's so close to the stairway that I... Let's see if it's one of these three. Okay, it was one of those three. understand why swapping out like turning one of the breakers off is turning on a light I don't totally understand that but I 
I'm using a, a an actual old rig with uh, with video out. I am not emulating. Ugh. Must have been this one, or is it all three of them? I don't really understand the circuit breaker puzzle. Okay. Well, that works. And does the elevator work? Uh, let's see. It's locked. It's locked. Well, it's fucking locked. Uh, for sure. I'm getting I'm getting the hang of the uh, of the layout of this castle though. I do feel like I kind of know where I'm going. Yeah, I don't understand why it worked the one time. I do not I do not get it. Come on. A hard time believing this is Wisconsin. This is this is what every house in Wisconsin looks like. I'm positive. It's locked. Oh. It's locked. Yep. Jeez. How long does it have to charge? Hmm. I'm, fe I'm feeling like I should have, like I should have what I need to dust for prints. I'm trying to think of where else I might pick something like that up. What up, Super Junior Trash? I could use the phone. I have yet to use the phone. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Nope. Yeah, let's call our friends. Uh, let's maybe skip to the morning or the acceptable morning. Skip forward in the morning. Actually have to type it in? Come on. Hi, you've reached Ned at Omega Chi Epsilon. I'm not here to take your call right now, so please try again later. Thanks. Ned's a frat boy? Maybe this is an acceptable time.
Hi, you've reached Ned at Omega Chi Epsilon. I'm not here to take your call Dude. right now, so please try again later. Where Thanks. are you then? <laughs> Getting beers with the boys. Hello? George, it's Nancy. Great timing, Nancy. Bess and I were just saying how we wish we were out on the ski slopes with you. Hang on, I'll get her to pick up the other phone. Hey, Bess, our favorite detective's on the phone. Hey, Nancy, how's the vacation? I guess you haven't gotten my letter. Not only do I have a blizzard on my hands, but I may have stumbled onto another case, too. The castle library was vandalized, and one of the other guests says her room was robbed. Boy, oh boy! Have you searched the library for clues yet? Well, that's the thing. Dexter Egan, the caretaker, says it's locked up and off limits until the police can get here. But who knows when that'll be. That's funny, Nancy. I didn't know the phrase off limits was even in your vocabulary. Seriously, though, don't you think that your dad's friend, Christy Lane, would feel better knowing that you're on the case, at least until the police can take over? She's right, Nancy. I mean, who knows what this Egan guy is all about anyway? Sounds like you're just going to have to find an alternative entrance to that library. Mm. Here I go again. Just hope I don't have to slide down the chimney. And what about this robbery? Chimney. Who got robbed? I'm not sure. The oh! Professor Hotchkiss. I think she's a bit eccentric. Okay. You I think I know what weird? to do. Netso? A few sandwiches short of a picnic? Okay, you guys. <laughs> I just mean that I'm not sure how reliable her testimony will be. Yeah, but she'll probably tell you something important, whether she means to or not. Okay. Okay, you two. Okay, I don't need to talk to them anymore. Watch out for weird people! Okay, so I'm assuming the chimney line was the hint. And uh, what time is it? I think they're wanting me to go to the fire in the lobby when it's not burning. And maybe get some ashes there? That would make sense. It would work. Uh, I guess I just got to jump to late at night. Use oil on the fire. Okay. I don't remember, I, was the fire going at three? I feel like I remember us being there when it was not going, but I'm not totally. Totally sure when that was. Man, it made so much sense. I thought for sure that was going to be it. I don't think I can walk over there at all. Bummer. Just trying to make sure it's not User error. Hmm. I don't have to slide down yes, the chimney. Dear. See you soon. Right ho. Am I supposed to enlist the help of Santa? Is that what the clue is? Man, okay, uh, maybe I do need to be on the phone. I'm not 
like <laughs> call Santa. I'm like so sure that that should have been it. I'm playing junior detective. I mean, I'm playing senior detective. Sorry, I forgot I'm supposed to lie. I mean, I th forgot I'm supposed to tell the truth. Uh, I don't, I really, I'm having trouble letting go of the fireplace idea because the fire is live sometimes and it's not live other times. It just seems like... Just seems like that should be it. Uh, okay, I guess I'll go on the phone again. I don't want to wander doing nothing. I don't have any other leads. Yeah, I don't think there's other fireplaces. Not that I know of. Give me a hint. Are they up? <laughs> Do they have uh, office hours? Hello? Hi, it's me. How's it going, Nancy? Are things calming down around the castle? Not unless you find it calming to climb out of a stuck elevator. What do you mean, stuck? The elevator broke down? Well, that's what I thought, until I talked to Dexter, who said it was probably the power switch in the basement. But, Nancy, how could the power switch just go off while you were in the elevator? Maybe someone turned it off. But why? That's what I'm wondering. How did you climb out anyway? I climbed through a hatch in the roof of the cab and just barely made it up to the next floor. So you were standing on top of the elevator in the open shaft, way up high? Ugh, just the thought of it makes my stomach do somersaults. Anything interesting in the elevator shaft? Just a metal ladder leading up to this ventilation duct or something. Nothing unusual, except that the cover for the duct looked like it was about to fall off. Hmm, maybe someone needed to inspect the duct and forgot to replace the grate? Or maybe the duct leads somewhere, like to buried gold or a hidden... Bess, that was Nancy's last case. She's in Wisconsin now, not San Francisco. Ladies, I need inspiration. Brain juice. A hint. They don't call us your trusty sidekicks for nothing. Well, that's not... <laughs> Help. I'm a little stuck. Isn't it about time you checked out the scene of the crime? Well, yeah. Help. I'm a little stuck. Isn't it about time you checked out the scene of the crime? Okay, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Nancy. See ya. Okay, well, I'm going to save and I'm going to go into the li library. Maybe there's something I can dust for fingerprints with in there? I don't know. I don't really know how else I'm going to be able to do it. And I still don't understand the elevator situation. I don't really get why it worked that one time. If I... Elevator reset. Hmm. To the scene. The scene of the crime is on the th or second, second floor, second floor.
Uh, let's save a new one. Library attempt two. It's locked. Sure is dusty. Boom. Ah. Well, don't push it. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Well, well, well. Look who returned to the scene of the crime. You're out of here. Didn't you hear Dexter coming? Yeah, but I didn't know what to do. Blah, blah, blah. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's not like you, Nancy. You always know how to make an emergency exit. Maybe you really do need some rest. Who can think of rest and relaxation when there's a mystery to solve? Okay. I don't know that I love that it's... What I needed was it like in the alarm room, but now that I think about it, it is kind of it is kind of Nancy. Nancy Drew does tend to have like timed segments. Can't tell which one's first. Nope. Three, three, two, seven. All right. Okay. 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 Well, look who returned to the scene of the crime. You're out of here. Didn't you hear Dexter coming? Yeah, but I didn't know what to do. I guess I just froze. It's not like you, Nancy. You always know how to make an emergency exit. Blah, 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 blah. You need some rest. Who can think of... I remember Sassy Detective. They just look... They looked the same to me. Uh, those two looked very similar. Oops. Oh, shit. What was that? Okay, well... Well, well. That sounded like a good noise, the but scene of the crime. You're out of here. Didn't you hear Dexter coming? Yeah, but I didn't know what to do. I guess I just froze. It's not like you, Nancy. You always know how to make an emergency exit. Maybe you really do need some rest. Who Maybe it's pound first. When there's a pound 327. I don't need a hint. I just you gotta do it correctly. Ah. Yeah, see, two and seven look the same to me. Okay, that was it. Three, three pound seven two. Is he still gonna come get me though? The Diary of Hans Axel von Persson. 
a Swedish French soldier, diplomatic agent, who blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. I will come find this book if I figure out that I need it. <laughs> yeah, darker darker fingerprints are the ones that go first. Because as you as you push the buttons, the oil comes off your finger, and so they fade as you do it. The finger juice. Yeah, you run out of finger juice. I'm nervous to save. I'll save. I'll make a new... I just feel like he's going to come stop me. Well, that's... There's the freaky hole. An atlas of the United States. Some Wisconsin facts. <laughs> the state dance is polka. True stories behind famous portraits. Uh, one of the many great portraits painted by Marcel Boner during his career. None has fueled more controversy and gossip than this portrait of Marie Antoinette, which was completed only months before the revolution broke out. It all began when King Louis XVI, Marie's husband, commissioned an opulent jeweled tiara for her birthday set in the tiara were a ruby and emerald a sapphire a 52 carat diamond bigger than any diamond ever before worn by french royalty marie was horrified by the tiara's extravagance and refused to wear it it is even rumored that she referred to it as my crown of ruination though no one knew what she meant by this Okay, that's that's good to know. <laughs> okay, can I go up here? Up, up, up. Looks like a secret door of sorts. hide he's gonna come in isn't he I can't tell if I'm hidden up here or not well so. well no. well look who returned to the scene of the crime you're out of here didn't you hear Dexter coming yeah but oh this makes sense now I guess I just froze it's okay I should find a hiding place in here first always know how to make an emergency exit Maybe you really do need some rest. Who can think of rest and relaxation when there's a mystery to solve? Back for more. A sly rabbit will have three openings to its den. This thing, this part of it move? Oh. OK. 
Okay. I think one of those books had like longitudes and latitudes and shit. The Wisconsin fact book, maybe? Forty-five north, ninety west. Forty-five degrees, ninety degrees. Is that uh helpful? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. He's going to walk in on me again. Dude. <laughs> Dude, let me out of here. out of here. Okay. Well, that's got to be how I get out, but I don't really know. This is the painting. She didn't like. Is that the treasure? Are we are we trying to find her uh, that thing she hated? Yeah, she she refused to reveal the whereabouts of the tiara. Never found it to this day. Okay, so that's what that's what we're looking for here. I really don't understand the I don't understand the uh god. I'm feeling claustrophobic in these menus. Uh I don't understand. I don't know the solution to the fireplace puzzle. like I'm missing something. But what? I am. I'm all alone. Can zoom into the compass, but I can't. Oh, okay, so I can change that. Okay, what were the what was the longitude?
Longitude is 90. Ninety and forty-five. Maybe one goes on the globe, the other goes in the... The other goes in the fireplace? It's not about Wisconsin. Maybe I'm supposed to find... Butter Ridge, maybe? Oh. Oh, am I supposed to, like... It might be supposed to... Hit one of these other... Definitely feel like I'm getting closer. Forty-five, ninety. I'm definitely not sure. That's red is reset. things when I question mark question mark Do not know. I'm glad the guy hasn't showed up, though. Does he only show up if I go upstairs? Let's see if this other journal mentions a place, like a location on the map. Uh, did they go to Wisconsin? Okay, well, maybe I don't even, maybe it's too early. Maybe it's too early to solve this puzzle? Let me 
gonna try and leave. What happens if I leave? Okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I could talk to anybody, really, about what I've seen. I think both Lisa and Hot Kiss would be interested in the things that I've seen today. I do think I'm going to wrap it for today. I think we're going to continue this on Wednesday. I think this is a good stopping point. I can attack it with a fresh brain. Next time. Uh, but this is what I'm planning on playing until I am through. I feel like we should be able to finish it this week, though. Yeah, we got very far, I think. Uh... Uh, day one, final save, start here. So I'm start, yeah, sure. Uh, let me read some things. Uh, no idea on what time I start. I usually try and get started before, before, well, around noonish Pacific time, but, uh, I can't promise anything. I kind of just go live when I go live. Uh, so thanks, Drew Crew, for watching. I'm going to read some of these. Uh, oh, my God, I got so many. I'm going to read some of these uh, sub messages before I go. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, how far? It, someone who's beaten it, how far have I gotten? I feel like maybe I've gotten like 20% through. Maybe. 5%? 25%? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That feels about right. I'm just getting a little stuck. I feel like 25 is pretty far. I would like to thank the following people for either subscribing or resubscribing. We got RDMN03, Trans Rats, The Honey Bunny, Sephorius, Rogers, A51, Rubbercat, Unobert, Bloodfin, 48, Dan Not Dave, Krubex, Blue Zephyr, 94, Frank and Thing, 531, Liana, Auto Espresso, Space Space 7, uh, Haley M. Dorit, uh, Morsis Torsis, Shiro Plays, 13, Walnut, 440, so fo flo fo <laughs> Atlas Daffodil Lauren Boborin Captain Cacao Kinfrog Knoxwell J Slovatsky Ace Dormouse uh, E Piles Paul Mixan Tin Pound Towel A Friendly Stand London Fay The Cashley Mecha Bishi Dr. Brobotnik uh, Flying Unifish, Cor uh, Chronostalgia, One Speedy Yoshi, Belaruso, and Scorch Morph. I'd also like to thank Super Junior Trash for the 100 bits, Sassy Glasses for the 100 bits, and Ploops. Dude, Ploops. I don't know if you're still here. Thank you for the $3 and change. Oh, howdy. It's been a while. The lie bird could imitate any number of sound effects from this game. Hope you're doing well. Thanks so much, Ploops. Good to see you. And I am doing well. Thank you, everybody. Good to see the Drew crew uh, back in action. I know it's been a hot minute, but... Uh, hey, now we're, now we're uh, knee-deep in some mysteries. I'm excited to be back on Wednesday. Uh, but for now, I got to go work on a thrift video script. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you in just a couple days. Bye-bye, everybody.
And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.